Hello and welcome to the Elowen Wild block party. So when you have a block party, it's got to be exciting and it's got to be fun. Well, we have that for you. We are in the home of Nicole Randall and she has the most amazing Elowen collection that I have ever seen in my life, ever, anywhere. And we get to tour it for our party. I'm going to let you pan out a little bit so you can just kind of take in a little of what's happening here. And we're gonna bring in the wonderful Nicole, who has, I mean, I'm telling you, <laughs> when you see this, you're gonna scream. And she's gonna show you some of her favorite dolls from this collection. So Nicole, girl, <laughs> take us away. <laughs> Hello, I'm Nicole Randall, um, and I love to collect Elowen, and these are some of my favorite dolls. So this shelf here, um, probably my most favorite Elowen doll is this one here in the white dress. This is Blythe Spirit Elowen. She's very hard, to, fairly hard to find, and she's also signed by Robert Tonner um, right here on her head. Um, when I got to meet him when he was actually um, at a doll luncheon here in Indianapolis. Um, he's from Indiana, by the way. So that's probably my favorite Elowen. And then this one here is another one of my favorite Elowen dolls. She's actually from a convention that was held in Paris. So she's a limited edition that was only available to attendees to that convention. Um, another Elowen doll that I particularly like um, is this one back here is Letting Off Steam. Elowen, she's kind of steampunky, if you will. And she has glass inside eyes there and she's wigged back here and then this is another one of my favorite Elowen dolls um, I just like her here's her cat so she always has to, she has her pet with her um, and her dress is really cute with the velvet and the trim the lace there and down the second shelf down here this is one of my re more recent acquisitions um, of Ellen. She's Par Paris Blue. She's also from the same Paris convention a different year. And so she's also kind of hard to find. And then behind her is actually the very first Ellen doll that Robert Tonner made or came up with. So this is Reluctant Debut. And so she's the first Ellen that Robert came out with. Her back there and this one here also I just really like her velvet dress and her long train and the big bow in the back um, and her hair is just really super cool so Ellen um, was a doll that I really liked just because she has all these exquisite fashions and she um, um, is you know different from other fashion dolls her style um, and this one here is Dark Shadows Elowen, and she's cool with like her winged um, eye makeup that I thought was really cool about her that I liked. And then there was a time when Robert was kind of liquidating his collection, getting around some of his Elowen dolls on eBay, and I was able to pick up this beauty, who's another Elowen doll that I just love. She's got her Renaissance outfit on. So that was from Robert's collection. She's not for resale, Robert. <laughs> and then behind her um, is an Ellen that is made of resin and she's ball jointed down there. And then this shelf over here um, is another one that's a little bit hard to find. She's also from that same Paris convention, um, a different year. Oh. And this one here is called Shall I Dance? She has inset eyes and rooted hair. And I like her like fluffy pink kind of prom dressy outfit. And then the girl behind her um, is probably the Ellen, the very first one that I ever bought for myself. Raw Edges, I think is her name. So she was kind of the girl that started off my collection. And when Ellen came out, um, I was a student, a medical student, and I didn't have much, you know, 
money coming in because I wasn't working. I was just studying. So a lot of my LNs are secondary acquisitions that I went back and found on eBay or from other sellers to try and like complete the dolls that I'd missed because they were kind of unaffordable to me when they first came out. This is another one of my favorite LNs of all time. I just love her eye makeup's really pretty and her inset glass eyes and her hairstyle with the curly hair, super cute. And I love her coat with like the velour and all the ruffles. Underneath she's got like a little lacy dress and her boots. That's another great thing about Ellen, her shoes are always amazing. Um, so my Ellen dolls, I like to keep them in the original outfits. I'm not a big redresser because I think they look great the way they came. Um, if it's a basic doll that came in this lingerie, I will um, redress those and get them in um, a Ellen fashion. So this is just part of this one case. <laughs> okay. And I kind of grouped them um, how they look good together. Like ones were in black together and like beige colors. And then for this shelf on top here, I decided to do rainbow because why not? So this Ellen um, is wearing red and I just really like her corduroy jacket and she has beautiful eyes. And then behind her, this is like one wearing like an Indian dress and orange. And this girl um, was a basic in the yellow here that I was came in like lingerie and then, then I put her in this Ellen fashion. And then I have two girls in green. And this girl in the green is actually Grand Despair 2. Um, a lady was selling her on eBay who had read, who took her hair out of the um, original style and like redid the hair to look like that, which I thought was cute. I'm not very talented at doing hair, so yeah. <laughs> And this Ellen here, in this outfit here, this green outfit, um, she um, is a, one of the earlier basic Ellen dolls, who, which came in a laundry outfit initially. Um, and the person who so sold her actually, there's a particular doll artist who, she actually had painted eyes. So some, a lot of Ellen's, especially the first time Ellen's have eyes like this that are painted. And then later on he did do, you know, glass eyes. And this is actually Lizette here, who's Ellen's friend in the, pink but so this doll originally had painted eyes like this but the lady um took them out and then inserted in glass eyes with eyelashes so i thought she was really pretty and then i have girls in blue to go with the rainbow theme and then there's a girl in purple who's hiding that's raw edges and purple she's also one of my first ellen dolls that i got when i started collecting ellen And then this line, so this row here um, has a lot of my, they're all my favorites, but this one I particularly love, this one, Sushi for One. I just love her outfits, you know, Japan, very Japanese. And I like it's like velour and velvet and all the different textures and different patterns that he put together to make her, you know, kimono style outfit. Love her. And this one here is also from, I think this is also, this is also from Robert's collection. This one here. Um, I just loved her because I love her super curly hair, which I thought was great. The curlier, the better. And then her outfit is just really cute with the different textures and patterns. And then her fur muff and her boots are great. So she was one of my other favorites. And this one too. She also has great boots. Yeah. And this one here is one of the one of the earlier Ellen dolls, and she's kind of hard to find. I thought her hair was neat. This is interesting, like the different hairstyles that he comes up with in his collection. And it seems like no no two Ellens have the same hairstyle. Um, and these two right here are twins, if you will, sisters. Called they're both I Wait Alone, and they're from Ninkana, from Australia an Australian convention, but someone out there in Ellen world will probably quote, will know exactly where they came from, but they have cute little crinkly hair 
And they're kind of neat because you have the, you know, one the black outfit and the white outfit, and they kind of go together as a matching set. Okay. And then this row down here, I mean, more of my favorite <laughs> Helen Toss. This one, I particularly love her. She's just really, her eyes are just like wide and bright, like her makeup. And then just has like the curly, crinkly hair, which is like a favorite of mine and the Ellen dolls. And this one here is a basic Ellen who has inset eyes and she's wigged. And the fashion that she's wearing is an Ellen fashion that I dressed her in. Since she was a lingerie doll, I redressed her. And the same thing with this one here, this is a lingerie doll that I redressed um, and put on a different Ellen wig on than the one she came with. And she has painted eyes, but actually has eyelashes applied. And then like going with, I just like this one too, so going with kind of like the goth theme. She has like her leather pants, her little leather booties. And then speaking of goth, this is one that I really think is cool as movies throughout the way. But she's just really like, her eyes are so striking, like how, these violet eyes and the dark lipstick and her pale skin tone. And then, see she has this really long cape with like the velvet flowers. I mean, she's just awesome. <laughs> and then the one behind her, I really liked her a lot because she has pink hair and I have pink hair now, but um, so it's kind of interesting, you know, he also does fantasy hair colors for Owen at times and her dress with like the 3D effect of the roses and her tights that match. She was a super favorite of mine when she came out. I definitely had to grab her right away. Okay. And then down here on the next shelf, so Ellen has some friends, and so these girls here are Prudence. So she's Ellen's friend on this half, or this half of the cabinet and then the back row. Um, and this is a harder Prudence to find, probably one of my favorite ones. Just has like, you can sense a trend in the ones that I like the most. They have like the, the, the crinkly hair, or the curly hair, I kind of like. And then these three are in a set together. This is Ellen and Prudence and her other friend, Lizette. And they are um, vintage, you know, cook cooking ones, baking ones. So she has a rolling, Prudence has her rolling pin. Ellen came with her little tea set, her porcelain tea set. And Lizette has her pie. So they're all together. So in this cabinet here on the top shelf, I grouped elements and like reds and pinks together. Um, and this one here is actually, so I, so this is probably the one doll or one of the one dolls I had that was in the original, it was Woefully Bewitching is her name. And her original outfit though, I wasn't much a big fan of was um, this purple witch outfit. Um, and so I just had to redress her in this other Elowen fashion. I just thought it was great and matched her. She has purple eyes inside eyes. So it was good with the purple tights and the purple outfit. So I had to change her outfit. And then behind her is a Lizette that snuck in. Cause she's wearing purple. <laughs> so she went like the purpley red kind of theme. And so here's, this is one of the earlier Ellen's wearing this lacy sparkly dress. It has a long train, the bow. And then behind her, we have another girl with super curly hair. And let me just take that because I think, oh, maybe not. There's one I had that was also signed, but, oh, I know which one it is. It's a different one, the same row. Um, this one here is, I believe Tatters Lizette, or sorry, Tatters Elowen. And she's also one of the earlier Elowens. So she has her little tattered fraying outfit. 
And this one here is also from a, a convention, a Paris convention, wearing pink. And this girl here too is also signed by Robert Tonner. Um, and she was one that I got off of eBay. And in the listing, it did not say she was signed by Robert. But when I got her and saw she was, you can imagine my screaming throughout my house as I saw, oh my gosh, Robert signed her. So that was a super exciting day for me. And then this one here in the end, also in the red theme, has like a nice cushiony velour dress with lace. And her shoes are really cool with the ribbon that laces through. That's part of the reason why I think I keep them in the original outfits is the shoes are so hard to get on sometimes that once I achieve that feat, they stay on. <laughs> okay. And then this row down here. Um, so probably so my favorite doll in this row is definitely Tears of Endearment. So she is a long, you know, hard sought, off, sought after element that a lot of collectors um, want for their collection or have from their collection. So she's just very serene looking and kind of sweet Ellen. I love her. And then this is another Ellen from one of his Paris conventions. It's more limited. I think maybe this made like a hundred or 150 of that doll. And that's it. This one here was um, Ellen that was one of the earlier Ellen's uh, basic that came in lingerie initially. And then I just changed her and put her in um, this dress. And this is another one of um, Ellen's that was that I was very excited to get for my collection. It's called Woe and Whipped Cream. And so she has her nice cushiony velour jacket, her poofy skirt, her cute little shoes with the bows, and then her super, super curly hair, which I just love so much. She's so cute. Yeah. And there's, and this is another Ellen that was also basic um, in an Ellen fashion, but her wig um, is not an Ellen wig. But I thought it was cute. And then the next row down here, um, this one's Chairman of the Board, B-O-R-E-D. <laughs> and that was kind of cute plan words because Ellen's, you know, kind of, you know, sad sometimes and that kind of thing. And behind her, you know, a fun Ellen that um, is wearing, actually an outfit that I had that's one made that I bought from um, a lady in Thailand. And then here's her wig, the pink in front. And Ellen does have a guy that hangs out with her, her boyfriend, this is Penn. And he is wigged and has inset eyes. And this one um, is a basic Ellen that was in the laundry to begin with. And then I put her in this outfit. And I have to say, of all his separate outfits you could buy, this is probably my favorite outfit that um, Robert came up with. It's just so cute with like the little cardigan, woven cardigan, and like the flannel pleated skirt, plaid skirt, and the super cute little platform boot boots. Yeah. And this girl here, um, she is a resin. She's an Ellen that's made out of resin um, instead of vinyl. So most of the Ellen's are made out of vinyl material, but he did do a few that were in resin, which is very fragile. Um, and she's she's very um, she's very she's ball jointed, so she's more articulated than the other Ellen dolls. Um, she's wigs. You can change her wig. You can also change her eyes as well. The other Ellen's, even though they have glass eyes like these do, you can't change those unless you, um, you know, do some major work to your doll. <laughs> and this is another Hero the Girl on the End um, that is resin as well, which has the wig you can change, you can change her eyes. But I left her in her original outfit. And this girl is wearing um, a Ellen fashion, it's not her original outfit. And then down here, um, I have Prudence again. And then here is um, Ellen's other friend. And 
And this girl here, I didn't like her original outfit that she came in, but I really loved this Ellen fashion. So probably after the other fashion I showed you with the plaid one here on top, this one is probably my second favorite separate um, fashion that Robert Tarn came out with, just because I love like the like the velvety jacket and the cute little pins that are on there that are rhinestones and pearls, and then the very soft lace. That was really cool. So this case here, I started to have like a mix of different dolls together. So here is um, one of Eloin's friends, Lizette. And then behind her is one that I really love that Robert did, just very brief. Um, it's Theodora Bennett or Curiosity Bennett. She's a steampunk girl. And I thought she was super cool. She has like her gun even that I thought was neat. And her little belt with her keys and her little magnifying glass. And she's super cute. Robert, bring her back. <laughs> so then we'll hop over to the next case now. So... The top row here, um, I have um, from a convention, they had Ellen and her friends as flowers, if you will. Here's Ellen in the pink flower outfit. And her friend Amber, her frenemy, I should say, um, I forgot her name in <laughs> the other case, but she's wearing this lavender floral outfit. And here's Prudence from that same convention and Lizette. So they're all together in their flowery outfit. And then down here, um, I have another one of Ellen's that I really just love. She's from another um, convention that's a little hard to find. So she has the painted eyes with the eyelashes and the cute little short curly hair there. Okay. So let's go to the last, the, my last Ellen case. So... The top here, this is a Lizette that Robert did specifically for a doll club um, luncheon that he designed. I didn't go to the luncheon, I not in that doll club, but I did get her off of eBay, where a lot of my dolls have come from. Um, and this Ellen here, I just really like her, you know, she's very striking, green glass inside eyes with the eyelashes and her little dress, I mean, this is nice, vivid, um, you know, sat, satin dress with the dragonflies and her coat with the sequins is super cute. And then her hair is really neat. If you can see, has like a, a French braid that come together, which is so cool. Like how they do that so tiny. I don't know. I can't even do that in my own hair. <laughs> and then this girl over here was another basic and I put her in this Ellen fashion. I thought it would look great with her pink wig that was her original, one of the original wigs that she came with. And then here's some more of the, this one here is one of the, one of the earlier Ellen's that I just really loved. Her outfit with the different textures, the velour, um, the cute little, se the sequins that she has, and her super cute little shoes. So she was one of my other Ellen's that I love. And then down here, I kind of did a green theme together. Um, this one here, I thought was really cute, just from a convention. She has her shoes with the lace that matches on the shoe that matches her lace tights. And this one here, this Ellen here is just so like sad looking and kind of wistful with her dark eye makeup and her cute little bob with the flip, very 1920s looking at Ellen and an amber snuck in the back. <laughs> and then this doll right here is probably my favorite amber that I have. She's a super hard um, amber to find, probably the hardest amber to, to get, I think. And she has, you know, crinkly hair with little tiny flowers in it. And she has the glass and set eyes. And here's some Ellen's that are in pink so they had to go together this one too I love her hair with like the red hair with the crinkles and her lace her outfit with the ruffles and the satin and then down here in the next shelf I have a couple of 
prudence, or this is, sorry, this is prudence amongst all the Elowins. And this prudence, prudence doll is probably one of my favorite prudence dolls because I like um, her cute outfit. It's very kind of cool and hip outfit, if you will, with like her torn vintage jeans and her cute little fedora hat. And her eyes are very pretty. Here's one of the earlier Elowins that has the painted eyes and kind of like the crazy cool coat with the little matching shoes, the little bows. And she also has like a really cool like updo that's really neat. And then this Ellen here, this is really neat with her um, sparkly lace inset top there of her dress. She also has like a really cool interesting hairdo where they have the different braids that come together and like make that ponytail, which I thought was really cool. So I had to get her for my collection. This one here, she's got her little raincoat and she's got an umbrella and her rain boots on. And there's one of Ellen's boy guys stuck in the back pen again in a different um, incarnation. And then down here I have Prudence. So, so there's more Prudence. There's Prudence dolls behind the amber in front. So you can see my Prudence dolls. And this one, um, I redressed in this outfit. She was a, a basic Prudence. And I just liked a really short, cute bob. I thought that was different. Something that Robert hasn't done much of. And I liked the purple outfit that I put her in also on an Elowin fashion. And this one is a, a prom um, Prudence from a convention. Put Amber back. And then here's um, some Lizettes that are all together. Um, this Lizette is from a convention. She's got like her steampunk theme, I think from his Flight of Fantasy convention. Um, and this one here I thought was just really cool with her feather and her hat, um, her like soft warm coat and her cute like matching boots. And this was I really liked when I saw her. I knew I had to get her when he showed her online on his website. But her cute hair, that was really neat with like the little bun braids. That was cool. And like the velvet velour coat and skirt that match. So, so those are my Ellen dolls. Well, wasn't that the most unbelievable collection of Ellen Wild dolls that you have ever seen? Personally, for me, it's the most unbelievable collection that I have ever seen. And I will be thinking about this forever. I want to thank Nicole Randall so much for inviting us in and letting us see all of her wonderful dolls. We hope you had a great time at the Ellen Wild block party. We will see you on some more of Nicole's collection in other videos, but this was just the beginning. Bye!